Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna be kind of recreating a look that I saw on Instagram. It's actually by Pris Priscilla Ono. I, um, she's, I think she's one of Fenty Beauty's global makeup artists. Actually, let me check. Yeah, global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty. Um, and she did this look on this model called Sydney J Harper who's absolutely gorgeous by the way but I just loved how she did it how glowy the skin is so I just wanted to kind of recreate it I don't have the exact products but I did use a lot of Fenty Beauty stuff so yeah it's, I'm not using the exact products that she's using but I just wanted to kind of recreate oh my god like her mod the model's eyes are like so like almond shape but like pulled up i'm so jealous and yeah i i didn't talk through the video but i'll do a little bit of a voiceover but yeah i, I hope you guys enjoy this little video i really like the look to be honest i just love the skin like how glowy the skin is and yeah i want to do a post notification shout out oh my god i think today's one's gonna go to tia so thank you so much for your funny comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press that bell button and then let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment and yeah i love you guys and i'll see you my next one right so here i am with my bare face i'm going to start off with this nourishing essence spray by revolution skincare oh my god i got sent their sprays they're, they're new and they're just so nice especially this one because it's super hydrating so then i'm going to take my fenty beauty pro filter foundation in 330 and i'm going to apply this first with a flat brush so i can like disperse it i usually do this with my finger but i thought let me do it for you know with the brush for the gram you know you know how it is but anyways we're going to take our damp beauty blender and blend that all in and then i'm going to use my fenty beauty pro filter concealer in 330 just apply this under my eyes on the bridge of my nose um, to be honest, it's not my favourite concealer. I have done a review on it. It does crease. Um, it's a little bit drying, but the coverage is really, really good. So I use it every now and then. I have it, so I might as well use it. But it's not like the concealer I would recommend. Anyways, next, we're going to set with some powder. After blending all of that out, I'm using my Makeup Forever Banana Powder. And I'm just dipping my Stamp Beauty Blend in there and just setting that concealer in place. We're going to move on to a bit of contouring, so I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Suede and I'm kind of replicating of what Priscilla or Priscilla, I hope I'm saying her name right, um, I'm kind of replicating what she did on the eye, so I did on the crease, um, on my cheeks to really like, you know, define my cheekbones, you know, my non-existent ones, put some on my forehead as well, but I also wanted to deepen that with the Matchstick in Espresso, which is the one she actually used, it's a bit darker for me, but you know these blend so easily like these are one of my favorite products from fenty beauty like the matchsticks are so creamy so blendable and they just make your skin look so like beautifully bronze because they're just so creamy but anyways i'm using my real techniques stippling brush to blend that all out whenever i like cream contour i like to use a stippling brush to blend out everything and then I go in with my beauty blender just to like soften out any harsh lines or anything like that but yeah I did put a lot on my forehead but like I said I love like when the perimeter of my face is super bronze and then the center is like a bit brighter Then I'm using a an eyeshadow brush to blend out the um, the matchsticks that I applied on my lids. I can't find my words. So after that, I'm gonna take the Killer Watt highlighter. I think that's what it's called. Um, this shade, I forgot what it's called, but I'll write everything in the info box. And I'm just uh, using the shimmery shade to kind of apply that in the inner corner, like the like Priscilla did. Oh my god, I'm forgive me if I'm saying anything wrong. I feel like it's Priscilla you know because there's two l's i don't know maybe not anyways i'm using the huda beauty matte and metals um i'm using one of the shimmery shades oh my god if you're a makeup artist i definitely recommend these matte and metals shadows they are so stunning and will like glam any eyeshadow look you're doing just trust me they're so good then i'm taking the matchstick in espresso and i'm applying this as eyeliner and it worked so nice as eyeliner 
Um, I saw on the model she did have a little bit of a flick, so I'm doing this, and I, I just, oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna do this every day now, just a little wing, because it really like pulls your eye, and I really like that kind of look. I then went to um, curl my lashes. This eyelash curl is from Avon. It's like so so good. It's like my favorite. I can't let go of it. I've had it for so long now. And then for mascara, I'm gonna go with the Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I think that's how you say it. Bad Girl Bang Lash. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I really do love this con um, this mascara, but it's really really hard to take off, like really hard. And that is a good thing, but. I end up yanking my lashes out when I try to take it off but it is really good like I love how much product applies and how it combs through the lashes and make them look super long and voluminous then I'm gonna grab this iHeart Revolution eyeliner pen it has different shades I'm taking the lightest one and applying this on my lower waterline I haven't done this in so long but I don't know I'm, re I'm really digging it with this look Now I'm using the Sleek Highlighting Elixir, this is the pinky one, I will link it in the info box, but oh my god, I really wanted to, how many times have I said oh my god in this video, but anyways, I really wanted to imitate that glowy look, and this stuff, if you don't have this, go get it please, go to Superdrug or Boots, get it, and thank me later, if you like that glowy, effortless, wet looking skin, get this, because it's so beautiful, just make sure like you blend I like to apply it with a beauty blender and just make sure there's no like harsh lines but it just gives the beautiful wet look and then I top that with the kilowatt highlighter in hustle something I forgot the name but I'll write in the info box just to add that extra glow and then I'm applying some Huda Beauty Demi Matte on my lips I'm so bad with shades but I'll like I said I will, I will I got you guys I'm gonna write in your box and that's the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one bye